Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. This will be a bonus read for Virgo. Hi, Virgo, how are you? Let's tap into this energy like we always do. Let's see what we have. See what changed, see what stayed the same. Spirit, can I have some messages for Virgo, please? Sun, moon, and rising. Give me some messages for Virgo. Can we please have some messages for Virgo, please? Can I please have some messages for Virgo? Summer and Rising. Thank you. Ooh, King of Cups, first position. Mm. Ace of Wands. Three of Coins. Judgment. Come through, Spirit. Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? We're going to, let's, let's do a 12 card spread. Two of Coins. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. Okay. Six of Cups. Empress. Two of Cups and the Eight of Coins. Give me a minute. Let me look this over. <clears throat> and at the bottom of the deck, you guys got the Four of Cups. Some of you might have thought that this person don't want you. Mm -hmm. This person might have even said that. Let me look this over. Oh, my crystal. This person might have even said that they didn't want you. Mm -hmm. or that it wouldn't work or you know that they can't be in a commitment with you due to some some unforeseen situations or something like that possibly they already married possibly they already in a commitment possibly the, the distance is too far mm. yeah you may be very guarded when it comes to this person here this has been a huge burden for you too but you, 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 you know you should let go or you want to let go, but you just keep holding on, holding on to the fact that this will get better or this person will come around. Mm. We got the death card in reverse, so things are not changing. Yeah, things are not changing here. This is more of the same energy, okay? Yeah, you might still feel that this person don't want you. You may feel this is a missed opportunity. You know you need to let this go. You know you need to walk away from this person, but you just can't. You keep holding on. You're just holding on, although you know this is a huge burden. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. You know you should let this go. You know this is a very toxic relationship, but you love them, and you, you're just holding on, hoping and wishing and praying that, th that things will improve um, between you two, or things will get better, or, or something like that, okay? Let's see what we have here. We have two major arcanas, okay? We have Judgment and Empress. That's, inter that's interesting. Okay, we'll take it, okay? We will take it. Yeah, this person may act like they don't want you or may act like they're not involved or not interested or something like that into you, but they are. You got the King of Cups in first position. This person is very much emotional over you. This person loves you, okay? Now... It looks like to me that you guys may not be speaking right now or you're not talking. You haven't seen them in a long time or something like that. Again, this person may have acted like they don't want this. You may have felt unwanted. You may have felt like this was a dead end or something like that. You may have felt like this was going nowhere. So you fell back. You pulled back your energy. No, that's not the case. This person does want you. This person loves you very much. And it looks like they're going to be taking action soon. This person wants to be alone with you. This person is very passionate over you. They want sex with you. You know, the Ace of Wands is the, the male phallic. This person wants to make love to you. They want sex with you. They might possibly ask you to meet them at a hotel. They might ask, uh, you might get a late night knock at the door. You might get a late night text saying, are you up? This person wants to make take action. This person wants more with you. Mm -hmm. This person wants to come back and claim you or, or you know, um, because this is a person that feels like if y'all 
cons consummate the relationship that you're theirs if you guys you know if you have sex with them you know you're theirs you belong to them or they feel that's their way of pulling you in or something like that okay again this person might have really thought or really told you that this is not going to work or you know it can't work they you know i can't be with you i got somebody else this enough work because they're so concerned about what other people think but now they're ready to work on it you got the three of pentacles you guys could even work together okay mm -hmm. you could have met them at work you guys could be um uh, co-workers you definitely could be some sort of I don't know you may work for this person or work with this person some shape form of fashion in your business or something like that somehow your your paths may cross at work okay but this person definitely wants to work on this with you now mm -hmm. this is the decision that they made this is a judgment call that they made that they want to come towards you okay they want to come and have this happily ever after with you this person wants to get back with you they want they don't want this to end okay it looks like some of you have pulled back your energy you 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 was tired of getting rejected you was tired tired of feeling rejected so you, you know you was like okay your wish is my command i'm out the door and now this person wants to come in and say no 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 no, no. i ain't mean it like that I, I want you back but they don't know how to say that they don't know how to come back and say i didn't mean it like that i want you back so they're pining over you they're missing you they're wanting you they're desiring you this person stares at your pictures this person stares at you they may walk you from some shape form of fashion maybe your social media maybe they can see you from across the room somewhere maybe they drive past your house somehow some shape form of fashion they're checking you out okay and this person got the hots for you okay they they want back in they want to work back on this connection with you and this is the decision that they made okay mm -hmm. this person wants happily ever after with you they want family with you they want to coexist with you this person wants to be all in your world this person might be very newsy ask you a lot of questions or something like that always asking you what are you doing who you with where you're going things of that nature Virgo, somebody wants to know your next move because you're very private. You stay to yourself. You don't reveal all your moves. Some of you are walking in silence. Some of you are have no communication with them at all. Some of you are just pining from afar over them or yearning from afar um, with towards them. And they're yearning on you too. You guys are longing for one another from afar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this person didn't invest anything in this with this two of pentacles. They could have been juggling you and somebody else. Again, this person could have already been in a relationship and told you it can't work. I'm already with somebody or told you nothing. And they did this non-committal energy back and forth, back and forth. You know, you saw them when you saw them that, you know, and you just got tired of that, you know. You're not going to keep coming in and out, in and out, back and forth, up and down, you know, in and out, you know, very wishy-washy emotions you like you had to put a stop to that because that was messing with your psyche that was messing with your emotions that was messing with your your um self-esteem you know and you had to put a stop to that however you got the victory card here you got the set that's uh six of wands this person wants your attention this person definitely is going to come back in and uh, apologize because their conscience is messing with them now this person wants to come and say, look, I didn't mean that. Look, can we can we revisit this? Can we talk about this? Because they can't stop thinking about you. And this is definitely somebody from your past. This is somebody that you've known from a very long time. This is not no newcomer. This is not somebody that you know you just met yesterday. This is somebody you've been going through this for a very long time. Years. Y'all been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This person is, could be uh, same soul, different body, past life, love, very familiar energy. This person feels attached to you, just like you feel attached to them. Some of you may have been feeling sad, you know, a great deal of melancholy right now, and you're like, where is this energy coming from? It's not yours. It's your person that's yearning for you, that's longing for you, but you feel it because of that that empress energy that empress energy is also like that divine feminine energy you guys could be in some sort of twin flame uh soulmate connection with this person with the six of cup and this empress here i i definitely believe that wholeheartedly this person wants reconciliation with you we got reconciliation there judgment and the ten of cups reconciliation there too so this person definitely wants to come and reconcile they can't stop thinking about you mm, mm, mm. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. This is getting a little pathetic. This is getting a little um, annoying. 
Mm -hmm. Because this person wants you, they desire you, but they make no action towards you. They're going to take action, but they have it. They want to take action. This is what they want to do, but they have it. But they want you so bad. This person, in their mind, you're still theirs. In their mind, you guys still are together or something like that. This person is thinking about you more than ever. Something happened. Something happened between you two. This person is thinking about you more than ever. This is some kind of soul contract, some kind of heavenly bond, some kind of um, <sighs> spiritual connection that you have with this person. Same soul, different body, yeah. They're ready to work on it now with this Ace of Pent Eight of Pentacles. This person is definitely ready to work on this. They're ready to invest into you now, okay? They went from the Two of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. They're definitely ready to invest into this now, okay? Again, they don't know how to come and say, you know what? I screwed up. I messed up. I hurt you. I disrespected you. I didn't see your worth, but now I want you. I want to be. I want to be what you want me to be to you, or what you want to have with me. I want it too. They don't know how to say that. Too much pride and ego. Too much indecisive energy. That Knight of Wands energy. It's very annoying to you right now, Virgo, and it's very exhausting to you guys. But I'm here to tell you, this person's still very, very much in love with you. They're ready to take action. Whatever you used to do to this person, they no longer get. Mm -hmm. You might used to stroke their ego. You might used to support them, listen to them, even if it wasn't making sense. You listened to them. You was their support system. You were their cheerleaders. You were, you were there for them when nobody else was. Okay, and they, they don't have any of that anymore. You pulled back all your energy, okay? You were a very good listener. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, like, made them feel that they uh, can conquer anything or something like that. Very good cheerleader you were. You were a very good support system to this person. This person took your kindness for weakness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This person didn't value you until you walked away, until you shut it down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even if they walked away first, because I, I, I know some of you always say, oh, they left me, they left me. Even if they left you, okay, let me just throw that out there. When I say to you, you walked away, I don't mean literally you was the first one to initiate the walk away. What I'm saying is you cut off your energy. You walked away that way, okay? When you stop investing your energy into this, when you stop pursuing this, when you when you stop trying to make this person love you, your absence was definitely missed, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is when this person realized how much they wanted you, okay? Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. Spirit, what other messages do you have? For Virgo, I'm going to do a bonus read for Virgo. Can we please have some more messages for Virgo? <clears throat> yeah, we have Divine Order, mm -hmm. Archangel uh, Regal. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusions and see underlining order, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra with these scales right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, you got victory again. You got victory here. You got victory there. Archangel Sant Santaphone. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith, okay? Yeah, you guys might feel that this that you're fighting a losing battle with this person. You have totally given up. You, you're heartbroken. You're devastated. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You can't get up. Or you're so freaking angry. You, you just spit fire at their name or something like that. Very disappointed. You know, um... You you just thought you thought they would be they would treat you better than that. You know, you expected them to be better than that, something like that. This person let you down big time, okay? Let just know this is all in divine order. This is gonna unfold organically, okay? Mm -hmm. We have outdoors, Archangel uh Jophiel. And go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Some of you guys need to get outdoors. Some of you guys may be staying in the house too much, especially if you work at home. Some of you guys need to find time to get out. You don't have to stay out long. You know, just get in your car, drive to the nearest river, drive to the nearest park or trees or grass and sit there. You need that earth energy, okay? You need to recharge your batteries. 
We got patience, okay? Archangel Jophiel, he keeps coming up for you twice, okay? Okay, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and they need patience. And I know you guys are saying, good Lord, how much, pa how much patience do I need? Lord, have mercy. Patience, you like, look, this is ridiculous. I got more than enough patience. This is ridiculous at this point. Waiting and waiting and waiting for this person to shit to get off the pot. Mm -hmm. You guys, have got you got clear audience. Archangel Zadkiel. Uh, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Okay? So you're getting downloads all the time. You hear, you hear um, messages all the time. From your higher self, from your spirit guides, from your ancestors. You, you might want to listen to that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because this is not over. This is, you had the death card in reverse. This is not over. There's no change here. This is not an end, put it that way. The death card was in reverse. This is not over, okay? I wish I can tell you that it was, but it's, it's, it's not over, guys. Yeah, it looks like this person owes you something. Mm -hmm. And spirit is going to make sure that you get it. Mm -hmm. Some kind of investment. Something that you invested in this person. Something that you... Um, hmm. Something you expected from this person or something like that. You expected this person to, to be more than what they were. You expected them to behave more than what they did or something like that. Okay, yeah, a great deal of passion for you. Mm -hmm. Allow your heart and soul to sing. The passion is there between you two, hands down. Uh huh. You feel you feel just as passionate for them as they for you, but it's just some kind of distraction, some kind of interference. It was always something interfering, okay? Rather their fear of loving you, their fear for coming towards you. Uh, we got finances and career. Maybe this person thought you didn't make enough money. Maybe they thought they didn't make enough money for you. Maybe it's just a bunch of insecurities got in the way. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This person might might have felt that they wasn't enough for you. Mm -hmm. Might have felt that, you know, they didn't have enough for you or that you were going to, you know, just use them for what they had or something like that. Okay. There was a great deal of chemistry between you two. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We got children. Um... Your love life has been affected by children. You guys may have children together. I saw that with that Empress card. This could be your baby daddy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This could be the mother of your, you. Could be the mother of their children, the mother of their child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For some of you, not all of you. Mm -hmm. Could have known each other since you were children. Uh, Spirit wants you to give this romance a chance. Work on your partnership. Uh, again, let me show y'all this again. At the bottom of the deck, mm -hmm. we have that death card in reverse, okay? So this is not over, okay? You guys are burdened by this, This is, but you're still holding on. And you feel like this person don't want you, but they do. They really do want you. This person, this person wants you more than what you know. This person won't let you know that, though. It's like they can't let you know that or something like that. They feel you're going to take advantage of that or something like that if they knew how much you had their nose wide open. They can't let you know that. Oh, no. Well, by all means, no. They can't let you know that. This person have never let you know how they really felt about you. Mm -hmm. They feel you already know. I don't have to tell you. That's how they feel. You know how I feel about you. That's how they feel. They say I was good to you or I did, so you know, I'm always here for you. I looked out for you, so you know I care about you. They never use the words I love you or something like that, rarely. Mm -hmm. And if they did, they didn't say it intimately. They said it like jokingly or just bypassing time. But I'm telling you, they're head over heels. You got their nose wide open. They just want to pretend like you don't. Yeah, you guys are missing. They're missing you too. This person is missing you more than you know. You guys are missing one another. This person might lack emotional intelligence. Yeah, this person might be very emotionally unavailable, but yet they are very emotional over you. Okay. 
Yeah, we got unconditional love. You guys have always exercised that with this person. You've always had um, this unconditional, this level of unconditional love for this person. Although this person, this wasn't reciprocated. Although this person act like you know, you was in a relationship by yourself. Uh huh. They thought they could come and go as they please. When you got tired of playing that game with them, and you pulled back your energy, and you left them in their fields. Now they want to come back. A lot, a lot of conflict between you guys right now. You might not be talking to them. You might have cussed them a dirty name. Uh-huh. Because you feel they're very emotionally unavailable. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Very emotionally unavailable. I saw that um, at the start of the read with that king of cups. They love you very much. But they won't let you know it. Mm -mm. No, this person thinks about her all the time. This person thinks about the divine you all the time. I almost thought just what the twin read. Uh, the female all the time. The female, if you're a male, you think about that female. If you're a female, they're thinking about you all the time. It's all about her. There's some sort of illusion going on. It's not what you think with this person. Okay? This person isn't being honest or true with their feelings at all. They're totally misleading you, okay? Totally misleading you. All right? If you guys don't want to be bothered with this person, that's fine. But that's not how they feel, okay? They're very pretentious energy. This is the great pretender here. This person is pretending not to have emotions for you. They're pretending not to care. And it's driving them batshit crazy. You're on a much higher vibration than them. Mm -hmm. you're, in a, you're very happy-go-lucky you're in a good place so if you all of a sudden start feeling sad and you know unhappy that's their energy that's them trying to put on your heartstrings for you to contact them or something like that okay send that energy right back don't let it come towards you yeah they want reconciliation with you this person definitely wants to return they want to come back this has been some sort of spiritual lesson that you're going through with this person hands down mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. Virgo, this person really <laughs> is head over heels. Some of you guys really think that this person has hurt you. This person has did, um, disrespected you. This person has really humiliated you. But I don't think you guys understand how the ball is really in your court. Shit. Look at them on the floor hurting. This person got too much pride and ego, but this is how they, this is the true them, but they won't let you see that. Mm -mm. No way. They will never let you see that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You guys are possibly mirroring each other. Mm -hmm. you, you're possibly not letting them see your feelings either. Uh huh. You might be totally disappointed and devastated too, but you don't show it either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. You got a surprise coming in Virgo. Something, uh, unexpected is coming on on different levels of a surprise to not just from this person in other words something really good is coming your way mm -hmm. something you've been waiting for you've been longing for you've been investing in something that you applied for or something like that you're about to get approval for it or something like that you got a huge surprise coming for you mm -hmm. you might even have a proposal of marriage coming in for you okay yeah, it's not what you think, Virgo. A lot of you guys really think this person, you know, don't want me. They broke my heart. They hurt me so bad. You don't even know how the ball is in your court. You don't even know how devastated this person really is over you. Mm-hmm. Over you, my love. Spirit, can I have some more messages for Virgo? Doing this bonus read for Virgo. We're giving Virgo a bonus read. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we got the case of the ex. Yeah, I miss you. Can we start over? This is what they want to come and say. Of course now, it's very difficult for them to come and say that. This person may be very young at heart, and I don't care how old they are. They be they may be very childish, okay? Very young at heart. You make me feel like a kid again. They may totally act like a child, okay? In a grown person's body, okay? We have surprise. I want you to I want to surprise you. Uh, you would not see it coming. It's, uh, yeah, you got surprise there. You got surprise there. Yeah, this person got some something up their sleeve, okay? 
this person has something up their sleeve and they feel like, you know, drastic times calls for drastic measures. Okay, this person really feels that you're slipping through their hands like grains of sand and they can't have that. Mm -mm. This person don't lose. No, this person doesn't like to lose. Mm -mm. And they know you are a good catch. It took them a long time to come to that realization, but they know now. Okay, we got testing the waters. I'm exploring the potential of this relationship. That's what they are. That's what they're doing. And you're like, shit, I don't care what you're doing. Go ahead and explore. You're exploring it by your goddamn self. <laughs> you guys are so sick of them. You know, you're just so tired. And I know you got every right to be tired. But I'm telling you in this read, mm, nope, it's not what you think with them. Mm-mm. We got second date. Mm -hmm. I want to get to know you better. Would you like to go on a second date? Yeah, this person wants a second chance with you, okay? This person wants a second chance. They feel that they, they screwed up big time, okay? They feel that you are unlike the rest, hands down. I love that you're different, and you are. You're totally different. Mm -hmm. You handle everything different. They know that your mere presence is different. Okay? How they act with other women or how they act with other men, they don't act like that with you. Your presence is totally different. Mm -hmm. They don't act like that with you. Mm -hmm. We got great conversation. Um, I could talk to you for hours and not get tired of hearing your voice. This person loves to talk. You might realize this person loves to talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You might see that this person does a lot of talking when you guys are around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got wish come true. You're a dream come true. You're all I've ever wanted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This person might be really recognizing um, the part that you play in their life. They may be really recognizing why you were sent to their life. Mm -hmm. They may have disregarded it, disrespected, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. overlooked it at the beginning, but they see it now, crystal clear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Without waiting, mm -hmm. the awaited date finally arrives. I'm so happy to finally have this moment with you. Mm -hmm. This person is waiting for you to contact them, waiting for you, for you to see them or be with them or something like that. Waiting for the moment to come at you or something like that or to come talk to you or something like that, Virgo. Mm -hmm. This person wants sex with you. They miss your sex. I physically crave you. I fantasize about all the sexual things I want to do to you. This person might like to watch your ass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They might like your rump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got flirting. I'm hoping my flirting doesn't go unnoticed. I like you. This person might flirt with you a lot. This person might have been a really big flirt. This might have been how it started. Mm -hmm. We got drinking. Let's meet for drinks. Loosen up the mood. Mm -hmm. Somebody like cocktails. This person might like to drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys might go out a lot. Go out and get something to eat. Might drink. Might go to his favorite bar. Mm -hmm. We got being charmed. I'm trying to put a put you under a under my spell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This person might be really trying to whip you. Mm -hmm. They might be trying to get you lost and turned out over them with gifts. We're taking you out, showering you with gifts, spoiling you, mm -hmm. stroking your ego, mm -hmm. showing you luxurious things in life, okay? I want to lavish you with attention and give you the best, okay? This energy is about to change for you, Virgo. This person is going to come in correct. They're going to come in right, okay? It, uh, okay. You might don't see it happening at all. Y'all might be saying, Virgo to Oracle, that shit ain't never going to happen. This person ain't thinking about me. They ain't coming towards me. Okay. But my cards don't lie, my love. This person is not done. This person is definitely coming in for you. This person wants back in. They just don't know what to do. They don't know how to say it. They don't. This person don't know how to. Hmm. They don't know how to express what's going on inside of them. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to express what's going on inside of them. That, that takes work that they're not used to, okay? Can I have some more messages, Spirit? That takes work that they're not used to. This person is used to the easy. 
Mm -hmm. The easy, toxic energy. But they don't have to be much. They don't have to do much. They don't have to say much. But with you, your work, your responsibility, mm -hmm. you're worth waiting for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut from a different cloth, baby. You're worth waiting for. You're something special. And this person knows it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the spirit say, let them go. <laughs> Spirit is funny. Spirit said, let them go, honey. Let them go. For those of you who have pulled back your energy, you said, uh -uh, I'm out of that function there. Keep moving. Don't turn back. I'm just letting you know. The tables are turned now. Now they're going to come barking at you. Now they come barking at your door. Now they're going to start chasing your car. Mm -hmm. Yep, we want reconciliation. They want back. I want, I'm working up the courage to ask you out on a date. This person wants back in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You may be giving them some competition. I get intimidated and nervous knowing that you get so much attention. Yeah, you might give them a lot of competition. They may know that a lot of people, uh, um, that you 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 harness, harness a lot of attention from, from others. Okay? This person might be getting a divorce if they're married. This might be why they're suddenly coming after you. They might have to keep their love for you a secret. We got secret love. I'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you, and I've kept my love for you a secret. It's too complicated to explain. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys did a waiting game with them for far too long, and and you feel like time's up, baby. Mm -hmm. I've been slow to return, but maybe it's because I know you'll be waiting. Uh, the joke's on them. You guys are not waiting anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys are a little fed up. You're a little tired about this here with this uh, person. You're just a little tired of it. You say, uh, you say enough is enough and too much is good for nothing. I'm out. You bowed out gracefully. You took it on the chin, you know. You handled it like a trooper. You said, okay. I was digging you. I did want you, but it wasn't reciprocated. All right, I'm moving on. And now they losing their freaking mind. Yeah, this person is in denial. They don't They don't want to face that, okay? They don't want to face the fact that they lost you. They don't want to face the fact that they, that they um, kind of like, like chased you off kind of like, you know, pushed you away or, or you know, by, by their behavior, of course, by their mistreatment, you know, they don't want to face the fact that you no longer want them due to, due to how they treated you, okay? It's much easier to deny my feelings for you, okay? This person might be in denial that you don't want them anymore. They don't want to see that. They don't want to face the fact that they ruined that. Mm -hmm. Nope, they don't want to face that fact. This person might have thought they was a player. I'm choosing to keep an emotional distance and play the field, okay? They might have thought they was a player or something like that, but now they're reaching their breaking point. Mm -hmm. I'm reaching my breaking point. I feel pushed to make a decision, okay? They know they have to shit it get off the pot because if not, they're going to lose you or something like that. Mm -hmm. There's been no escape for them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how far I run, my heart always run back to you, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, no matter how far you go, no matter how far they go, this connection is, is like haunting them. And that's because they know that you, you were a rare commodity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only you, only you. I'm not seeing anyone else, if that's what you're wondering. Mm -hmm. They only want you. Now they only want you, Virgo. Now it's all about you. It, it, it might be that you guys don't want them now. Mm -hmm. You may be very undecided about this now. Honestly, I don't know what I want. I'm not sure if I want a relationship. Okay? Right now, you might not be sure if you want anything with anybody. Mm -hmm. You've been doing some healing yourself. Okay? We got hard to read. Mm -hmm. You confuse me. You give me mixed signals. Okay? So this might be what you're doing to them. You might be confusing them. They may be confusing you. I hope you enjoyed my reading. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. Asha.